we are uh, going up to Devil Ants' graveyard. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning. Cemetery hours yeah, from okay. dawn until dusk. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. That's new. That fence is new. Yep. Yeah. Keep out after dark. Private road. Private cemetery. Last time we was here, we met a gentleman over here. Can't, Sheila, you remember his name? We got a board fixed in the mm -mm. museum, but he owns that property across the road. Nice, nice fella. He's an original Hatfield. His mother, he's actually a house. House. Yeah. House. George. George House. You're right. And he is a nice fella. If you're ever up this way and you see him over there, he's uh, he's worth stopping and talking to. Uh, he was definitely nice to us. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he uh, he knows a lot of the Hatfield history naturally. His mother, his great grandmother, was Devil Ants' mm -hmm. daughter. I believe you're yeah, right. She, yeah, she she was a Hatfield, but of course, you know, when it's a female, you have to take your husband's name. So, uh, property is protected. So I don't know what's going on here now, yeah, but something must have happened. Yeah, somebody must have vandalized something, or usually when you see something like yeah. that, or. I don't private know. Maybe it says private cemetery. Sometimes they uh, people does things for publicity. The more you act like something's not accessible or valuable, the more it becomes. I don't know. I'm just I am just speculating, and I shouldn't do that. Used to be an old house right down there. They tore it down and uh, cleaned it up, so it looks nice. They've had a bulldozer or something up through. It looks like this road's looks, wider. It does look wider. It's so, not as many dips. I don't know. They may be, uh, a lot, a little sun's rocks. getting ready to come out up there. And, uh, beautiful, beautiful morning. Yep. I got done you, Sheila. Good morning. I didn't take know a break. Had... Yep. Old people have to stop and take a break. <laughs> Old people, bad knee, bad yeah. back. We are, we're a pair. Sheila had knee surgery years ago. Years ago, she was doing a going up from a brown belt to a, her. A, well, when you really heard it, though, was he's doing that old Indian dance. Yeah, we were doing an Indian dance at school. See if you could make it rain. Rain dance. Yeah with her children in the class yeah. and uh, but she may edit this guys you may not even see none of this I'm like a lot of the youtubers out there are like me sit around bored and nothing on TV but the news wow they grow those that out didn't they that road's always been there but it looks like it's wider don't it yeah yeah. I bet they did that for four wheelers. No, I don't think they want four wheelers up here. Now this looks <laughs> the same. Dang on it. That's uh Ooh, I almost went down. Let me stop for a minute. That's my bag. You okay? Yeah, my back quit through spasming. My back's thinking oh. right now, what the hell's going on here? What, <laughs> what are you the doing? What the heck are you yeah. doing to me? Yeah. Move up here just a little bit. We'll take you a break. It out, it? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Cleaned up. Here's a Shep. We've done a story on him before. Yep. Cap. Shepherd Hatfield. He's seven years old. That's the one that uh, Cap Hatfield, his yeah. dad, yeah. This little boy here starved to death. Malnutrition, died of malnutrition according to Coleman C. Hatfield. Mm -hmm. This is when Devil Ants and Cap was supposed to have fallen out. Watch my handshake. Sorry about that if you are. No, That's not the camera. That's, I think the camera's. And uh, while Cap was out west on the run, this little boy starved to death. Uh, said they didn't have food to eat. Coleman, in Coleman C's book, he said they didn't have food to eat. Well, up there, according to some people, was a millionaire. Yeah. 
a millionaire and he refused to give food to his grandchildren because he's mad at Cap for Cap running off and leaving him. Remember, after Jim Vance was killed, Cap took off. Emma Hatfield. This is a this is Cap's mother-in-law and his aunt, Emma Smith. Emma Hatfield Smith. This was Devil Ants' sister. Emma Hatfield was. Okay. And uh, it was also because Cap's. He Cap's mother-in-law. Yeah, that was his first cousin that Cap married. So mm -hmm. there she is. There's the famous. Uh, come here and hold this one second. We've done this video before, but hey, we're just making a video, so it don't matter. We're in no hurry, but stand right there. But this is where Devil Ants Hatfield made that famous photo that you see that's flipped now. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can look at the hill. It's actually got like Devil Ants up here standing. And the bussy down here standing. <laughs> Makes Devil Ants look like he's 20 feet tall compared to her, but what it is... This ground shift. See how the ground slopes they had there, guys? They've taken that photo and they flipped it. Instead of showing devil ants up here, they're showing them down there. But in showing him down there, if you'll look, the mountain goes up. See that? The mountainscape. Look down through there how it goes down. See? See, you're going downhill. Mm -hmm. this, but if you'll look at that picture real good in the picture, you'll see a hill over here. There is no hill over here, people. There nope. is no hill. Nope. It's all downhill. Open this area. It's yeah. yeah. But in that picture of Devil Ants, it shows. Okay, I'm. We're gonna start another video from here on what you want to do. We'll just use yeah. this one. Sheila came here to do a story on a particular person today, and uh, her's French Ellis. Yeah, so it's looking at. Uh, of course, that was one of uh, Devil Ants's. Oh, wait, uh, that one's broke. Eskio, Eskio Ellis. Esky, Eskel, Eska, L. Ellis, daughter of L. P. Smith and French Ellis. Wow. Hmm. There's French Ellis. We know he was an employee and a friend of Devil Ansis. But uh, once again, Sheila came here to do a story on a particular person. I'm going to turn the camera over her and let her do it. Hi, guys. What I'm doing today is a short video. As you can see, here's Devil Lance and Lavasi's children. Right here. And we're going to talk about Lavasi. And she is back here. She's married to Devil Lance, of course. Um, she was born in 1842 and died in 1929. She was a chafin, was her maiden name. She died eight years after Devil Lance. And uh, they brought her up here, up that hill here, to be beside of him. You can see it says father and mother there. And I'll add pictures um, from her funeral and stuff like that at the end of the video here. I was just going to say, this is where Lavasi is laying to rest. The side of Devil Ants and Johnsy, Troy and Elias, and the rest of their children. Okay, then I told you it's going to be a short one. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Catch you on the next one. Bye.